Good morning. Good morning. We're going to do something a little bit different today for our special. Uh, my handy dandy trusty assistant over there will be moving around the church. He may go in a little random pattern, he may go in order. We'll just see what happens. You tell me when you're ready, Ray. I'm never ready. <laughs> okay, we're going to recognize some people in church this morning. First is Tom Walker. Tom, you're such a lifesaver. Coming to our rescue a few years ago when we needed you and continuing to stay and become such an important part of Pittsburgh Church of the Brethren. You are our Mr. Goodbar. <laughs> Linda Walker. Linda, with the kind kinder you bring to our church, you have brought happiness and love to us. No, that's all. Sue Strasser. We would not say that Sue wriggles in her seat, but she is never still helping where help is needed. Ron Gubo. Roll up your sleeves, Ron. You're always ready to help with anything you can. And he's always pretty handy with other things in the church. Dwayne Heck. <laughs> Dwayne gives us mounds of information during Sunday school class, counting on us to contribute to that class. But occasionally, he gets airhead looks from us on the side. <laughs> Donna Jean. Are, are you ready, Ray? Airhead's on the, it's on the side, Ray. Calling her an no. <laughs> I'm calling us airheads as we try to answer. Donna Jean. Donna Jean does, does so much for our church family and seldom rests. She probably needs a vacation to go to New York, but may have to settle for a sour patch in her garden. <laughs> Kenzie Williams. Kenzie's our resident sweetheart and keeps us on our toes. Chad Williams. Chad is just one big gummy bear. He <laughs> quietly does what needs to be done and goes on. Erica Williams. Twix you and me, Erica is a great daughter and mamba to her kids. And even though Brody's not with us today, oh, even though Brody is not with us today, he will graduate from college this spring, and he has another brother or two. <laughs> so if you'll take that to him. And Colton's not here either, but he's pretty quiet. But I have seen him snicker when he hears, sees, or does something funny. <laughs> Daryl Oren. She's back in the back. <laughs> we hit the good and plenty day when you came as a package deal with Pastor Ken. John Strasser. No one in the entire Milky Way can run a camera like John can. And we need to make a switch. You can only carry so much around and, and figure out where he is, so we have to make... Three Peace Stone Church? Please? Three Peace Stone Church? Um, you'll ask that man up there in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody gets bubble gum and blows a bubble, we'll, we'll wonder. <laughs> Dustin is next. So be prepared, Dustin. <laughs> He's ignoring you. Dustin Williams. 
what you might call it when you lose your place during the service, but you always find your way back doing such a good job with the screens. Lauren McDermott. Come on out, Lauren. <laughs> I don't know if Lauren has a Kit Kat or not, but I'm sure she would be a great caretaker of a pet. Doug Harder. Werther, you know it or not, <laughs> Doug has also graced this congregation with his singing. Melinda Harder. Melinda is full of almond joy. As she brings such a smile to her faces when she makes faces. And she's also, yesterday, was giving out kisses to her family when they surprised her for her birthday. Bruce Shank. Bruce takes payday to the next level as he pays the bills and keeps track of so many things in the church. Doug Bevins. Ray, all the way down. Okay. Yeah, you have to skip a few. <laughs> Doug Bevins, you became our Mr. Goodbar with all your carpentry and painting skills, and we appreciate that. Anna Bevins, I bet Anna's a good cook, but I doubt she has to butterfinger her hands much. <laughs> Diane J. Diane always goes the extra mile to do what needs to be done, whether it be serving as worship leader, taking care of the flowers, collecting the offerings. She is there, gummy rolling along. So extra. You have to skip a few. Uh, extra. extra and gummy rolling along. That's it. Okay. Okay, Lawrence Rao. <laughs> but you got here just in time. <laughs> Lawrence, you, you're such a delightful fellow, and you caramello. That's probably, about, Ray, that's in your other box, maybe? Yep. You caramello so much for your church family. Uh, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Chris Walker. You'll need, you'll need your other pan now, your third one. Keep those where they are, Ray. We're done with this one? No, we're not done with it. Just put it down. Pick up the metal. That's it. Chris, Pittsburgh Church of the Brethren is very blessed to have you here today. If you can find the right one. <laughs> Pittsburgh Church of the Brethren is very blessed. It's a little box. Can't find it? A little box? I think it's blue. Does it say Barry Blast on it? <laughs> and Zach Walker. Zach, have you ever gone fishing? Okay, well, I bet if you did, you caught some Swedish fish. <laughs> and last but not least, we save Pastor Ken. No matter what, we would not trade you for 100 grand or even 200 grand. <laughs> and he's definitely a keeper. Don't you agree? Oh. <laughs>